John McLaughlin coming to his byway of the head knot squad, taking on donuts, Austin man. Smith out, out of the Wolves Den. McLaughlin hands. works Everybody as a Brazilian jiu-jitsu coach it. for the youth of that particular organization over there at head knot. And then those guys at the Wolves Den, some as tough as they come. Kirk Huff has the call for this one. Going to start down here. Austin Smith on the ground here trying to work, but McLaughlin, like I said, a great youth jiu-jitsu coach, which is really what it's all about is the young ones coming up over at the head nod squad. Yeah, we have a lot of a lot of great competitors here today. Oh, leg entanglement here. Oh, right very the close. Hook. McLaughlin trying to roll out of that there. Both these guys are high-level purple belts. Great, great leg exchange there. Yeah, they're doing, a, it's, it's all about that feeling out process in the beginning. You know, if you're gonna pull guard, if you wanna just sit, you're gonna stand in the beginning. Austin Smith decided he was gonna go to the ground here to, in the beginning. We see a little bit of wrist control there coming out of McLaughlin, stepping back away. So again, for our listeners, you know, we have a very unique rule set here. It is very, it's it's a, it's kind of a hybrid system, Jeremy. So we are encouraging submissions. We wanna have oh, a lot of Oh, looking for that leg, looking for the heel there. Submission only, however, with a little bit of a hybrid of a rule system. So if, if you see a very deep attempt submission, or submission attempt and the opponent has to really fight to get out of that, they can be awarded a point. You can also be awarded a point if, you're, if your opponent is penalized for stalling. And also you, you, you don't stop the action until you get to a break point like that when, once you hit off the mat. Right, right. Um, obviously, we're just trying to have a good time, and, and safety is, is of the utmost importance, but we do want to keep the, the matches exciting. But this is such a beautiful venue here at Four Hands Brewery in St. Louis. Oh, beautiful venue. I mean, I don't know how many people are doing jiu-jitsu in, in the brewery. Absolutely. I think, I think this is the first of its kind in the city, without a doubt, and uh, this is just the first of many. Now, Smith here trying to work towards that, getting that guard, looking there, trying to look at the pass, but now working, his, working that back end, getting on that right hip. Try to get the pass there, good guard. McLaughlin though, no slouch himself coming into this, trying to pin down that right ankle. Nice step over there into oh, side control. Beautiful step over. Austin's doing a good job regarding though. Too yeah, you can kind of tell McLaughlin doesn't want to get real close into the into deep guard here with Smith. Yeah, Austin Smith is he's trying to you know get the leg entanglement. He he, he wants Austin or Johnson. Oh, really looking here, potential oh. anaconda. Oh, that's a Dars. Dars choke. A, oh, that almost. Dars, that Dars is tight. McLaughlin looking to finish here. Kirk Huff right on top of the action. To, to the feet. Oh, nice spin out there by Austin Smith. Tough as nails. Down to three minutes and 30 seconds left here. John McLaughlin is awarded a point for that submission attempt. That was a tight, tight submission. And that's submission. because it was so deep in, he was there. That was such a deep submission. Austin Smith had to really, really fight to get out of that. So therefore, John McLaughlin. Oh, huge Austin takedown from McLaughlin. Point. Looking for that hip toss Big there. hip toss. You like that as Working a Working that Haraya Goshi there. I might have taught him that back in the old days at the hit squad when he was a coach there. McLaughlin one to nothing here over Austin, but Big throws like that are a high risk, high reward maneuver. You can give up your back depending upon where your underhooks are. Now McLaughlin doing a great job here though, getting back into top position. Referee Kirk Huff's gonna reset them back to the center. We have an intimate setting here, so the, we only have so much room well, on, but, on that mat. But this is great for the fans. Look at them, I mean, they're so up close to it. Everybody is just absolutely glued to the action here. And we want, we want to display jiu-jitsu. Uh, you know, obviously all these matches start on the feet. However, when you have limited space, you don't necessarily have the same opportunity for, for the, you know, wrestling like you would a larger mat. Well, yeah, because you're going to look at guys who are going to try to run that takedown. You know, they're going to want to look for those ankle taps. Oh, look in here now to potential knee bar. Oh, that is deep. Nice move there by McLaughlin. Oh, switching oh. it up there from Austin Smith. Austin Smith Gets switches to the, the inside heel hook. Gets the tap. Beautiful move there by Austin Smith out of the Wolves' den. Oh man, that was a great transition. He went right from the knee bar straight into the inside heel hook. Beautiful move there, Austin Smith out of the Wolves' den, coming up with the win here at the Strange Hands Jiu Jitsu Tournament. Beautiful there, Austin Smith. Again, that transition, 
after the big throw. He was down a point. He knew what he had to do. Made it all happen. That was a beautiful submission.